everyone welcome back to the video i hope you all are doing great well today we dive into the world of big data well it's mind blowing impact on how it has changed the decision making process too so without wasting more time let's get started for our next story let me ask you a question what does big tech know about you and the answer is practically everything big tech knows everything about you they have all your data and they're using it to cut million dollar deals. From every place in New York, information is pouring out. Zeros and ones, the Big Apple's data, gathered by the city for the people. The revolution has just begun. Guiding principle is hold city accountable for what we do. With the news of the NSA and PRISM and all that stuff, people are scared about big data. What we'd like to think is we're doing big data for good, for regular people. Billions of people use the internet every day. But the internet and the companies which dominate it are using them too. We live in an online world. There are 8.5 billion searches on Google daily, while for many, it seems that smartphones have become extensions of our very selves. Many of the services we use every day on our phones and laptops are free, but we pay in another way, with our personal information. Well, the first question that arises is, what exactly is big data, right? Well, consider this. Every click, every swipe, every purchase that you make online leaves a digital footprint. Now, what is this digital footprint? It is like a data. Now, what big data does is, or what big data analysis does is, it crunches all of these data. Well, these are the data which would have remained hidden, but with the help of big data analysis, it will help you provide information, uh, trends, patterns, which would have been hidden if not brought out. It's like, you know, having a superpower to see what's in this plain sight. Well, for an even better explanation, Consider the big data as a massive ocean, a massive ocean of information, which is constantly growing. Well, why so? It's because of every online transactions, interactions, sensors, and etc. Well, to extract the useful information from this massive ocean would be a, such a difficult task for traditional tools. Now, our big data analysis comes as a superhero. It dives into this massive ocean and gets all those useful information, patterns, trends, and etc. Well, you can ask me a question right here. What exactly does it do? It basically does is collecting, storing, cleaning, and analyzing this massive data set, which would otherwise be, you know, hidden without us knowing what the trend would be or this information would be. Now, Let's talk about the various types of big data. Considerably, there are three. Structured data. Well, neatly organized and kept in a spreadsheet format. Example, we have spreadsheet, XML file, Excel file, and sales figures. Unstructured data. Messy and unpredictable to be analyzed also. For example, we have social media posts, voice recordings, songs, etc. Third, semi-structured data. Well, kind of organized, but not fully. Examples are XML files or web logs. Well, consider yourself driving a car blindfolded. Decision wouldn't be the best, right? Well, that's how businesses used to take decision or businesses used to do with the help of guesswork and intuition. Now, with the help of big data analysis, they're able to see the road ahead. Similarly, let's talk about some of the real world examples, real world business examples, if I had to see. First, let's talk about Netflix. Have you ever wondered how Netflix is able to suggest you such good shows which you like? Well, it's the help of the data or the data that you have collected of you. With the help of the data, they analyze what you watch, how you watch, and what time you watch, and suggest you the best shows, keeping you glued to the screen. Second, let's talk about Amazon. 
they know what we want before we even want to buy right how is this possible spooky but convincing well it's because of the data that they have they know what we have purchased before what you know we may purchase after or what we might purchase for later third my favorite and i'm sure everyone's favorite it is starbucks well have you ever wondered how starbucks is able to tailor that best choice of drink that you want or those promo promotions that they keep on doing it's because of the data that they have collected or the loyalty program data that they have with the help of that they tailor these kind of drinks or promotion maybe even it's just you're going for the wifi too well now keeping all of these examples in mind let's talk about some of the advantages and disadvantages too well advantages improved efficiency it will help you understand where your operations are going right or wrong with the help of the data that is kept in your company or your business next is improved sales with the help of increase in your efficiency knowing your operations properly correcting it it also helps you target the right customers it's like you know knowing your customers like your back of your hand third reducing the risk well knowing the patterns challenges trends and also knowing what's going to happen in the future will keep you ready for it last is competitive edge well it will help you know what exactly has to be done in that particular field and what exactly is going to happen keeping you a leg up in the competition and helping you to be the smartest person in it well it's not sunshine and rainbow right there are disadvantages too so let's talk about it first of all privacy concern privacy concern is a major question mark right here when you're talking about data right next we have is cost and investment well big data analysis requires a lot of investment and expertise too so it's a huge factor to think about last is human touch matters no matter what or how much ever you do big data analysis and stuff end of the day data shouldn't replace humans they say a big data or a, they say decision or the best decision is a blend of big data analysis or insights along with human intervention where there is intuition and a little bit of guesswork which helps you give the best decision as possible see all i can say is big data is going to play a huge role in the future except ai coming in and playing a huge role well at some point of time it's going to happen it's not like ai is not going to play any role it is going to play a massive but that's not the point right here the point right here is how we see this big data analysis and what we do you know about it well big data analysis of how we take the decision within the minute within that second is what matters think about this a store is able to adjust their price with the help of the traffic data that they have or consider this a self driving car that is able to optimize its route with the traffic data that it has interesting right well that's the key factor of big data analysis and that's something that everyone should be looking into well i would like to know what does this mean to you all you might be a business owner or you might be a curious consumer who's knowing about you know is trying to know about what big data analysis is but still i would like to know about it with that said coming to the end of this video all i got to say is you got to stay tuned and that's it for this video see you in the next one Oh, 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 oh,